After the whole Note 7 fiasco, lots of people imagined that Samsung would finally retire the Note name for good. After all, how do you rebuild the reputation of a brand after such a global scale disaster? As it turns out, there are more fans and loyalists of the Note series than anyone imagined, which is why we have the Galaxy Note 8 today. Samsung's new flagship is based upon the same design principles as the S8 and the S8 Plus, but with a few minor modifications to accommodate the S Pen and the new dual camera setup, which is a first for the company. Let's see if it makes up for its predecessor and lives up to the hype. The Note 8 is a bit thicker and more rectangular than the S8 Plus. It's also heavier, but surprisingly better to grip. The fit and finish of the metal and glass body is top-notch. The back smudges very easily, but the bundle clear case should help. The 6.3-inch Super AMOLED display is excellent, especially when you bump up the resolution all the way up. Colors are punchy and blacks are inky, which makes anything from text to video look stunning. There's a hybrid dual SIM tray on the top, which can be used for additional storage. The 3.5mm audio socket, USB Type-C port and S Pen silo are all on the bottom. The body is also IP68 certified for water and dust resistance. Samsung's S Pen stylus is now also IP68 certified and has a high level of pressure sensitivity and features a finer tip. Ejecting the S Pen when the phone is in standby calls up a feature called Screen Off Memo. You can take notes without even unlocking the phone and either save them to the Notes app or pin them to the Always On display. With the display on, you can access Air Command, a carousel for shortcuts to different S Pen functions. Live Messages lets you create animated GIFs, while Translate helps select text on screen to see translations quickly, and it supports Indian languages too. Other tools let you magnify the contents of your screen, use Bixby Vision to recognize objects or places, and save custom size and shape screenshots. You can also add other apps of your choosing to the carousel for easy access. The pressure sensitivity is great for accurate sketching and the S Pen makes for a useful input device in some games. In India, the Galaxy Note 8 has Samsung's Exynos 9 Octa SoC along with 6GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. Just like the S8 series, you can unlock the phone with your eyes which works no matter the lighting and make purchases using Samsung Pay instead of your credit card. Performance is very good and the Note 8 runs the latest Samsung Experience UI which is based on Android 7.1.1 Nougat. Bixby is available with the press of a dedicated button. Edge panels take advantage of the screen's curved edges and lets you quickly get to contacts and app shortcuts. You can even pair two apps together and have them open simultaneously in split-screen mode. During our week-long test period using the Galaxy Note 8 as a primary device, we found that its performance held up well. Apps loaded quickly and we didn't have any lag. Having said that, it'll be interesting to see how this phone fares after a longer period of time, like a few months. The phone does get warm pretty easily when gaming and using GPS or the camera, but it also cools down just as quickly. The screen makes all kinds of videos look gorgeous, and it also supports the HDR10 standard. High resolution videos ran just fine, and audio quality was pretty good with the bundled AKG headset. We now come to the next big feature of this phone, its cameras. The primary sensor is the same as that on the S8 series, which is a 12 megapixel sensor with an f1.7 aperture and OIS. The second 12 megapixel sensor has a narrower aperture and smaller pixels, so it's not great for low light. However, its main purpose is the live focus feature and optical zoom. Image quality is excellent, and colors are a bit more in control than what we saw with the Galaxy S8 series. Details are distinct and clear in landscapes and macros. Low light shots are also among the best, with impeccable detail, very good light metering and next to no noise. Given adequate lighting and correct distance between you and your subject, live focus lets you adjust the bokeh effect in real time. You can also do this after taking shots. The dual capture feature records wide and zoomed shots with both sensors at the same time and the result is usually useful. You can also optically zoom into your subject when you press the 2x button. However, the app will only use the second sensor if there's bright light around or it will just fall back to digital zoom through the primary sensor. Another big addition is optical image stabilization for the secondary camera which helps getting steady shots in 2x mode. Video recording maxes out at 4K 30fps and quality is good. Stabilization works well here too. But if you walk around, videos tend to have a slight jelly effect around the edges of the frame. The front camera is pretty decent too and manages fairly sharp selfies with good colors even in low light. In order to make place for the S Pen, Samsung has had to cut down on the battery capacity. The 3300mAh battery manages to close a full day's worth of usage, but it's tough to get anything more. Thankfully, fast charging is supported and you can get close to an 80% charge in an hour. 
The Galaxy Note 8 is a fantastic device, and if you're looking for the best Android flagship, then look no further. At its current price, it doesn't really make much sense buying the 6GB version of the Galaxy S8 Plus, as the price difference is negligible. As good as the Galaxy Note 8 is, you also have to keep in mind that more flagships are on the horizon, including the iPhone 8 Plus, LG V30, and Google Pixel XL 2, all of which could be strong competition. We might even see a price correction once these phones launch, so holding off on your purchase wouldn't be a bad idea. Other than the fact that it's on the heavier side and many people will find the fingerprint sensor to be out of easy reach, it's hard to follow this phone. So thanks for watching our review, be sure to check out more videos right here. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe and follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram at Gadgets360.